Hello friends and welcome to Pi Shine. This is part 15 of the Pi QT5 learning series. Today, you will learn how to manage the time series data in a GUI. We will talk about the functions that will be used to update the plots. From a CSV file, a user can select the x-axis, y-axis or all of them. Let's have a look at the project structure. We have two Python files and multiple CSV data files. The main.py file contains core functionality of this GUI. The dragdrop.py code will import the main.py and add the mouse event handling so that the user can drag and drop the CSV file on the main GUI. These are the data files, let's have a look at them. The first line contains labels for each column of the data. Format of the time series is in the first column. Similarly, in the second CSV file, there is a different format of the time series. Each column contains data according to its label. Let's talk about the basic functions of main.py file. The idea is to obtain the columns of a CSV file and make a dictionary data set. The keys will be the labels and the values will be the column data. The function get file will provide location of the file. The read data function will generate data set and update the combo boxes. The update function will plot the data on the matplotlib canvas inside the GUI. This function can also be called from any of the user input through select X and Y axis functions. These are connected with the separate combo boxes. In Python, the variables and methods of a class can be reused in another class through the concept called inheritance. So, in the drag drop.py code, we will import the UI main window as a superclass. In this way, we can utilize all its behavior and integrate the mouse listening events to it. The drag enter event function will detect if the user has dragged something on the GUI. The movement information will be provided by the drag move event function. The drop event function will get the location of the dropped file. It will call the read data function to proceed the plot of data. Alright, all the mouse event functions are available here. The drop event function will obtain the file name and call the read data function. In the UI setup function of main.py, we have added two labels and two combo boxes here. Text is inserted in each combo box so that user can select them easily. Once the current index is changed, for each of them, the respective functions will be called. The update function will be called to plot the data samples on the canvas. The get file function will open a file dialog to obtain the location of the user selected file. Here, the get data set function will check if the daytime format is available or not. You can choose the format according to your file. The data set dictionary will be generated for each column. So, this daytime format is suitable for the CSV file.
Similarly, we can use this datetime format for the other CSV file. Let's run the code by using this command in the terminal. As we drop the CSV file, all the data is plotted except the datetime column. The title is given, according to the name of the file, let's change the name, and drop file, on the GUI. The title is changed, let's select the x-axis data. You can see that, the list in this combo box is populated, with the labels of the CSV file. Let's select the timestamp label as x-axis, and light, as the y-axis. The x and y labels are changed, on the canvas in addition to this plot. Let's try other labels, against the timestamp. It will be interesting, to view the time against time. You can see that, it's a straight line. That's all for today. Try different CSV files. The link to source code is available in the description. Have a nice day and see you again.